and as we say, we go to Swindon this Saturday. Themselves had a, a decent result on Tuesday, obviously uh, a one-all draw at Southend United, so they'll have obviously their confidence boosted by that one. Well, having been to Southend on the Saturday, we know how how difficult a, a journey that was, you know. And we come back up with, with a three-nil defeat wasn't the best uh, results for us. So to go there on the Tuesday and, and, and get a one-each draw, by all accounts, Southend uh, should have won the game. But you know, it uh, just shows you the the tightness of this division. You know that, that every week, every team home and away causes you problems, and it's up to us to to find a way to to combat that and hopefully, as I say, uh, get the victory against Swindon uh, to keep us moving forward. We talk about obviously Southend last week, obviously another long journey that we've had last weekend, another long journey this week in Swindon, does it become any easier perhaps when you've got back to back long distance away games you kind of get into the flow of, of getting on that coach and them overnight stopovers? It gets more difficult when you come back up uh, after a defeat like we had on Saturday, I think you know it's, it's, a, it's a happy bus when everyone gets a victory and we come back up the road you know but yeah we've just got to go, it's a kind of division it is you know there's a lot of travelling involved and you know the best way to go is as I say on, on Saturday at Swindon is to get the victory, get the three points, and, and everyone's happy. We'll have an enforced break, unfortunately, for FA Cup exit, so it's important that we uh, you know, stress to everyone that we can really go for it on Saturday, and, and as I say, fingers crossed, we can, we can get the victory.